I am Cornelius Moore, uh, co-director of California Newsreel, film curator at the Museum of the African Diaspora and programming advisor for Film Fest DC. Listen to the beat of our images is in short stories program one at the, at the festival. And I'm very happy to be in conversation with filmmakers Audrey Jean-Baptiste and Maxime Jean-Baptiste who are joining us today from France. Hello. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> so using archival footage and narration, this 15 minute experimental film looks at how colonialism erased the stories of uh, the colonized and that the film is a, an effort to redress that. Uh, in this case, we're talking about French Guiana and it's quite rare to see a film from and about French Guiana. So what is your connection to to French Guiana and how do you, you, how do you decide to, to make this film um, this way? Go ahead. Uh, uh, first, uh, thanks a lot for, for having us. And we are really happy to screen our movie uh, at the Washington DC Festival and, and nice to meet you, uh, Cornelius Moore. Thank you. Um, so uh, our father is a French uh, Guyanese. And um, and we 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 heard a lot about the story of the of the expropriation, and uh, and then we 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 worked with the National Center of Space Studies, because uh, each year they make an open call, and they ask to directors to make movies with archived images, and each each year there's a different topic, like for example. Two years ago, three years ago, it was about uh, Algeria uh, because they had a, a, a space camp there before mm -hmm. uh, French Guiana. And then in 2020, they, they, they make a, an open call uh, about the, the building of the, the space camp in French Guiana. And then uh, Maxime and I, we, we decided to, to apply to this open call. And we directly wanted to, to work about uh, we, we really wanted to work about this uh, subject, this uh, the expropriation, because it was important to to talk about the French uh, space conquest through a Guyanese point of view. So this is how we we work on this subject. Okay. Well, the thing that one of the first things that, that I noticed was that um, it's, it's you know with the archival footage, it's a celebration. It doesn't recognize that people have been displaced, and that all the people in the um, the film are white, and that so there are no black people at all in it, and and so that stood up for me. Were you surprised at all when when you saw the footage that that was the case? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's true. Uh, first it was. Uh, it was a sort of surprise, but in the same time, uh, we had access to to, to several types of archive. We really took, uh, we really made a, a quite strict uh, a selection. Uh, but there has there was different type of of, uh, of material. You had, uh, let's say, more uh, amateur films uh, from engineers or architects that were there at the moment. And actually, in this footage. Uh, <laughs> There was uh, Ghanaian people, there was black people, but the way they were seeing with, let's say, a sort of white gaze, uh, it was impossible for us. It was like a sort of a very weird uh, imagery, uh, very uh, pervert imagery for us. Uh, mm -hmm. So we, we, we really choose to, to, to say no to these images. And this is why we choose mostly uh, footage that uh, are we're almost, I don't know, uh, cinematographic. We had, uh, I don't know, like six, seven films, I think, with, with us. Or uh, there was like 13, oh uh, yeah, we had 13 uh, footage that were already edited, uh, but we choose uh, mainly uh, three or four. And one, which is called Kuru, that is almost, let's say, cinematographic. But yeah, it was only about actually uh, white people coming in uh, the, the the French Guiana with this idea of, of celebrating, and but we really decided to actually not choose images, other images that where we felt Guyanese people were uh, not with any power. So yeah, 
That's that was that any, that any kind of agency. Yeah. No agency. Yeah. And uh, the images, the, the movies who were made in the late 60s, uh, mm. early 70s, were made to, uh, to um, how to say, to invite French engineers yeah. to come to French Guiana because at this time and since um, and, uh, and now, uh, it's, uh, it's really the same thing, but uh, Guyana, uh, French Guyana had a very bad uh, uh, image, you know, uh, mm. people were really afraid to go to this territory because it's very dangerous for a lot of reasons in the French mind. Yeah. So they, they, they made these great videos and to come to French Guyana, you will see it's going to be great and with a voiceover and um, who invite uh, French people to, to come. So that's, that's why there, there were so, so many, so few Guyanese in, 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 and black people in these uh, images. And it was a way too for France to celebrate the progress. And they are so proud to be able to mm -hmm. launch uh, rockets in the sky. So <laughs> yeah, it was very disturbing to not mm -hmm. see Guyanese people in the images. It was, it, it, yes, for me, it was a shock. I, I was like looking for, okay, and I send a message to Maxim. So where are black people in these images? I don't understand. So, yeah. Well, it's set, I mean, it's also settler colonialism because it's like, oh, don't worry. We're going to develop this town where you'll feel really at home. You're going to be like in Europe. Don't worry. At the same time is that people who are there are displaced. Ex no, exactly. Uh, and this, I think this is also, uh, it's really uh, uh, interesting what you say, because it's also the, the violence of it, this, 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 this settlement process, because this is how, also how they, 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 they built the, the space to this, it was to, the space center, it was to say, oh, uh, but you, you don't have paper for your, your house or your land, or your fields. Uh, so you, in the same time, you uh, say you are, uh, it's, it's a French territory, but in the same time, you, you justify your presence by an administrative way of dealing with the land uh, that is just, you know, it's, it's normal. Uh, and this is how they expropriate the people. It's, uh, oh, you don't have paper, so you, you cannot stay here, which is, yeah, this pro uh, very violent settlement process. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I also noticed that, that, well, the archival footage was of the space station or, you know, that development that was in color and that the, 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 the um, imagery of French Guyanese people was in black and white. That, that, there was that contrast for me. Um, do, do, was that because that was the film that was available to you? Yeah, the black and white. You want to say something? About yes, the black and white? because we had uh, images from the uh, 60s, mm. and uh, I think the latest image we have uh, was made like in the 80s. So uh, I think the black and white images were were the, the first images uh, who were made by uh, the National Center of Space Studies. I mm. think that's why they were in, in black and white, and after. We, we get colored image and but uh, yes we didn't choose uh, yeah but like it was uh, yeah it was what was available it sounds like yeah yeah also please say more about the narration i'm fascinated about that and the you know having the narrator reference the stories from the, her grandfather about what actually happened and so that's one aspect of the narration. I'm curious also why you chose a female voice. Uh, about the, the voiceover, uh, we, we met like 15 people to build this voice. So it's a mix between people who live the expropriation mm -hmm. from Guyanese people uh, who live the, the, the story of the space camp from a bit farthest, like mm -hmm. because they live not in the city, and the first person maybe we 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 um, we talked to was our father, and then we talked to his friends and friends of friends, friends of friends, and then we 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 had all these uh, testimonies, and one day we we met uh, this uh, man called uh, Christian Chocho, who lived the expropriation when he was a child, and then when he talked. Uh, 
to us about the sto his story, it was like it was it happens uh, just a day before. He was still in the, the same emotion, like very strong, and and he remember his father who lost everything, and then he, and then when we get all these emotions, we we really decided to build uh, the voiceover uh, about um, and we to to be like uh, more precise on the story, and mm -hmm. um, and it's 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 funny because at the beginning we really. Uh, wanted to, we, we had a, the voice of a, a man at the beginning, and when, and at the moment we said, but why is it, uh, you know, we didn't really think about it, and we said, why not to work with a wom with a woman voice, and and then uh, we we met uh, Rose Martin because we really wanted that uh, the people who say the voiceover uh, were Gu Guyanese. For us, it was really important. Mm -hmm. We really wanted to work with a, a Guyanese uh, actress uh, or actor because we were open. And then we, someone told you you, sh you have to meet Rose Martin, so the the actress who made the voiceover. And then we met her, and and she lived in Kuru when she was a child, so she had a personal story with this uh, a personal linked with this story. So yes, we. It's a mix with the, 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 the fact that she was the, the best people to, mm. to talk about this and to understand in uh, her uh, heart and in her mind uh, what happened. So, yes, but I think, yeah. Mm. yeah sure. So how has the film been received in French Guiana and in France? What's, what's, been, the, what's been the reaction? Uh, it's, it's a good question. I think in uh, we, we first started to distribute it uh, in France and after it, it, it went to French Guiana. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, uh, well, I, I would start with the, <laughs> the good part. I think in French Guiana it, it has been well received uh, mm -hmm. because the people are really uh, know, know the story. And I think there has been one documentary maybe 10 years, a decade ago, 10 years ago about about it but it's i think the only document let's say about talking about the expropriations and i think um yeah uh, it's and it's still something that is like uh, vivid uh this process is still there i mean the, the space uh base is still uh, there and uh is actually expanding so mm -hmm. um they have a lot of land and uh, i mean it's it's a huge thing but in france uh, the reception was totally different. Uh, I mean, there was different different festivals, but we sometimes felt that there was like, um, I don't know, uh, we were not actually ev uh, every time talking about the expropriation as itself, uh, but more about the space or the beautiful images or, um, because I mean, it, it's still something that is like, um, uh, active the fact that French people going in French Guiana for five years and uh, living their dreams in the paradise uh, and then they go out it's still a process it's still a kind of colonial process and I think seeing this film many people were a bit like um, a, a bit troubled you know by uh, <laughs> the way we we, we were picturing uh, French people French white people so uh, I think in France it's it will it's 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 weird the reception it really depends on the places it was screened because in some festivals yeah there was some festival we where... we, we had very great uh, uh, discussions about it people you yes we, we we should mention that in france uh people don't really know anything about french guiana french Guiana's, right. and sometimes they don't even know that french that french guiana exists so we have to explain where is it on the map. Some people think it's in Africa. Or wow. I know where. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> still today, still uh, our president thought it was an in island. island. Five years ago, he said French Guiana, this island. So it's, uh, you know, <laughs> and, uh, and then people, uh, I, I had great conversation with people no, in no, yeah, yeah. who are really surprised to, 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 to learn about the story. So, and some other people, uh, older people, uh, most of time, who 
maybe you know the people who have this experience in the French Indies or in French Guiana, the people feel uh, uh, um, uh, awkward and uh, uncomfortable. I, mm -hmm. I can feel the, that it's, uh, yes, it's not a comfortable for them. With the important information, Maxine, that you were talking about, um, that the, the, the space station is still there and expanding. So the, so the film uh, revisits what happened in the past and, and this it could be used as a, as a resource <laughs> to say, well, you know, we had to happen in the past. We don't want this to continue and to expand. So, um, so congratulations for that. I'm sure people and again were happy about that, you know, that they could use this as a dis discussion tool um, for, for that, that campaign. If, if there is a campaign, is there a campaign to stop the expansion? No. Okay. No. Not so much. Yeah. Uh, no, not at all. Mm -hmm. um, Except Julia. People, uh, people who live the expropriation, the expropriation in the 60s still, are still trying to fight to be, to, to be, uh, I'll say, to be. Um, Reparations? Reparations. Yeah, Reparations. But there are, you know, a lot of people died now, so mm -hmm. it's uh, just a few people, and my, and French government don't listen to them. So uh, I'm not really optimistic about about that. But uh, but yes, there, there is not a real movement, you know. Uh, but about the the fact that uh, the the French government launched rockets in French Guiana, the problem mm -hmm. is that. You know, it, 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 uh, Fran French government earns a lot of money because a lot of, of countries come and ha ask them to launch rockets and so they, they pay mm -hmm. French government for that. And the issue is that um, this money uh, directly goes to France and just a few part goes to French Guiana. And five years ago, uh, people, French Guyanese people, fight a lot for that to say, okay, you launch rockets, maybe there is some environmental issue, etc. And and they ask for a change uh, about that, but uh, they had some things, but still waiting for uh, yes, a very biggest recognition. Mm -hmm. mm. Um. I want to uh, switch to the filmmaking aspect here that your brother and sister and uh, from, from my research is your kind of different approach to film like Maxine you're more experimental and, and uh, Audre kind of more well I've, I've seen your film um, Fabulous years ago so you're a documentary and, and narrative and I love Fabulous uh, oh, so you. you know you're welcome so um, what was it like for you to work together? Uh, and will you continue to do that in the future, do you think? Uh, <laughs> I would start and I would say a bit, but I think it was a, it was a very nice collaboration. Uh, even if we are, we are, uh, we have different ways of working. Um, I think through the work of, um, of, of doing this film, uh, we also were quite clear on what we want to work, uh, like what is our position. And I think from the beginning, I was maybe more interested with uh, editing or post-production processes. And Audrey was really interested by uh, the narrative or, but the things I think in the same time were always like kind of interweaving. Um, um, but uh, yeah, I think there was like, um, uh, I think it, it works. Uh, you want to see more? Or... <laughs> yes, we, it's true that uh, uh, we, we, come, we have very different backgrounds, so, so, so different way of working on a movie. But I think it was complementary because, um, because it's true that yeah, I'm, I'm more in writing and, and Maxime needs to, you know, to, to touch the, the, you know, the images and to work on it. And, uh, and so it was very... Uh, it was because some, but we work on the writing together, but sometimes Maxime left and try something with the images and he show me the images and then we work again on the writing. So it was a yes back and forth. 
and um, and actually we are together because uh, we are co-writing his uh, next movie so uh, and we were in French Guyana uh, last month because he, we we work on his shooting because um, so yes we are continuing this uh, collaboration um, and, and th I noticed that there's a film called uh, Muno. Is that how you say it? Is that the film yeah. you're referring to? Or um, and that again is sort of ex exploring image, how French Guiana is presented. Uh, <laughs> sorry, there sorry, was like, uh, a, like a, the, uh, the, the, army the French playing. army was uh, playing. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> What did you, they're, they're watching you, I guess, so. Yes, I think so. Oh my God. <laughs> so, uh, what, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Muno, it's my last film. And it's also a, 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 a fun footage uh, film, but it's, it's uh, already made. But the, the film that we are now doing is, uh, is, is a bit mixed. Uh, it's called Coute Voix, and uh, it's gonna be between reappropriation of image, already made images and also documentary processes, uh, more classical, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I, I think we're approaching time. Uh, I'd like to say, first of all, it's been delightful talking to you about your film and about your work. And also um, give you an opportunity to tell people how they can follow you, um, what, what you're doing, if you're, you have a social media, information that you'd like to share, please do that now. Uh, we are really bad at uh, social media. We, we don't have Instagram and uh, <laughs> so we, we are- have Facebook. We have Facebook and, and, I, and, <laughs> and really soon I'm gonna make a website because uh, it's, I, uh, yeah. We, uh, we need to get out of- uh, Yeah, we need to, uh, I, I'm gonna have a website media. soon, so, but uh, <laughs> we, are really, we are really bad at social media. <laughs> <laughs> but we have Facebook. What is your Facebook? This your name? Yes, yeah. Audrey Jean-Baptiste and Maxime, Maxime Jean-Baptiste. Jean okay. Well, Audrey Jean-Baptiste and Maxime Jean-Baptiste, thank you very much. And uh, everyone, please um, watch, listen to the beat of our images in the short stories program one and Film Fest DC. Bye, everybody. Thank, thank you, very you much, so much, Cornelius. Uh, Cornelius and other team of the festival. Yeah. We are really glad to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.